Kiyomi Takeda is, I feel, a character that really does get too much hate from fans of Death Note. Being one of my favorite characters from the series, at the very least being in the top 10, I obviously don't really agree with a lot of her criticisms, and as a tribute to her, I'm going to analyze her as much as I can, given the dearth in Takeda focused material Oba provides. After thinking of this analysis, my liking of Takeda increased, and well, if you dislike Takeda yourself, maybe you'll change your mind after watching this video. Video. Now one thing to bear in mind is that this might be quite short, as you can probably tell from the runtime of this video, considering Takeda is not someone who the author paid a lot of attention to. Nonetheless, she's still an interesting character in my eyes, but I feel there's no denying she could've been done a lot better. We begin with someone who is clearly very interested in light. After all, he demonstrates fantastic academic capabilities and is clearly very intelligent, and that is exactly her type. We know that even following their university years, Takeda was still in interested in light, considering she even had knowledge of light being in the police, information that was supposed to be confidential. Certainly, light's left his mark. Now, we do know that her feelings have naturally diminished over time if we take into account the fact that light was planning on making her gradually fully trust him and fall for him, but she still did have feelings for light to a significant degree, judging from how she was flattered at his phone call and blushed and was excited to meet him. Light, being an excellent charmer, reinvigorated Takuda's love for him, with it slowly increasing as she talks to him. However, I think this changes and really skyrockets when Light reveals he's Kira. Just a moment earlier, Takata felt unbelievably hurt and betrayed, feeling deceived by Light, which indicates his desire to catch him when she idealizes Kira and him feigning his feelings towards her. However, with him clearing her doubts and being the one whose ideals she respects and is even beginning to partially enforce, she clearly begins loving Light much more following this. One of the most important events for Takata's character is their third meeting, we see where Light instructs Takada to receive pages from the notebook and begin executing killings as Kira. Here she is beyond shocked and disgusted, not wanting to have to bear the role of personally killing people herself. While she may advocate for the deaths of others, she, like most people, simply cannot bring herself to directly kill others. We see her horrified expression when Light passes a note to her and we also see her trembling and sweating when she's telling Mikami of this plan, a stark contrast to Mikami killing people in a stoic fashion and even being displeased at the idea of having to run relinquish his role of killing. Since she convinces herself that she must be doing these killings for Light's sake, I think this is what catalyzed her conflict with Misa. After all, if she proves that she is superior to Misa, her biggest threat, then she can prove to be the one best fitted for Light and her rationalization for the killings would work. It's following Takeda starting the killings as she smirks at Misa and taunts her. Wanting to prove that she belongs to Light, she invites Misa over to dinner in order to move the battle forward and prove her superiority. While I am looking at the manga here, I find it interesting how in the anime, Takada's response to Misa insulting her at the end of the dinner is not her being eloquently upset, but her laughing because she feels Misa is ignorant, her having recently taken upon an important role for Kira. Nonetheless, Misa has planted seeds of doubt within Takada's mind, and so suspecting Light like, may indeed be manipulating her, Takada confronts Light, directly asking him about his relationship with Misa. Light's response is something which Takada does think about, with her having to convince herself that she's literally different and superior to Misa when learning that Misa was performing the same role as her right now. I think she really did want to believe that Light wasn't lying, with her having to convince herself why she's better than Misa, plus her next note indirectly suggesting that they do something to Misa, indicating she still might have small doubts, followed by her unamused expression when Light suggests otherwise. Of course, she has to convince herself Light is not lying to her because otherwise, her justification for killing these people will go down the drain, so it's not purely because of her feelings for Light. Following this incident, I don't think she felt any particular animosity towards Misa because because after some time, she must have convinced herself that she truly is the one who deserves light. One thing I did notice which may indicate that Takada still feels bitter towards Misa, however, is how Takada suggests that they should do something about near confining Misa despite Light already telling her that they can't get evidence out of Misa. In other words, Takada's most predominant thought regarding Misa is not that she's not a liability to Kira anymore, but rather that she used to do the killings, which would make her susceptible to forgetting the former. So she probably still has some lingering doubts at the back of her mind. Mind. One notable event is when Mikami confirms to Takada that Light's plan has succeeded and Nier had swapped the pages of the notebook. Here, Takada looks scared and tense for some reason, sweating contrasted with her calm expression in the panel before this. 
Admittedly, I'm not entirely sure why, but perhaps it's because somewhere at the back of her mind, Takeda's doubts make her know that Light will plan on killing Takeda once everything is over. Finally, Melo kidnaps Takeda. I only have one thing to say here, and it's in reference to Takeda's dedication here. She's in such pain and can't think clearly, and yet she devotes herself to Light to such an extent that she's coming up with lies for the task force and going along with his commands, with the thoughts making it seem like she's almost forcing herself to listen to what Light said, which is normal concerning the amount of pain she's in and how fearful she is right now. However, she still does try to do his commands and does not give up, and the way she restates what Light told her makes it seem like it's out of the question for her to do otherwise. I think this devotion is because for months she's been telling herself to do stuff for Light in order to rationalize her killing people, and I think doing this for a while has made her way too accustomed to following Light. Eventually, she dies at the hands of the very person she is doing this for, a very sad death. Tell me what you think in the comments below, particularly about how we feel about Takara and subscribe if you enjoyed this and want to view some of our content.